Is the new car trader update worth it? What changes could have been made to make it better? Also, can coins be more relevant? We're going to find out right now. So Kumani have finally given us something that is kind of useful, where we can trade old forbidden cards for something else of the same rarity from the same box. The only downside to this is that Hatronade comes from a really trash box. And the only decent-ish cards you could trade in for are Sylvan Kumushroom from the no longer top tier Sylvan archetype, so not really worth getting that, or Cocoon of Ultra Evolution, which may see some play since Insectors got some recent support in the new box. And now for the big bad that got itself on the ban list after That Grass Looks Greener and Cyberstein were the first two on the list, and that is Invoked Cockatiss. There are far too many rare cards to list here, so go check out the Dark Dimensions box to see what you could trade this in for. This box does have a lot of Gravekeeper cards, so if that is your type of deck, then you're on to a winner. But with it being a rare and having 6 copies in each box, it may just be worth keeping a firm grip on your cock. It is. To make this idea slightly better and to make it worth actually trading your forbidden cards in, Konami could let you trade in the forbidden cards for any card of the same rarity from the boxes that came before it, allowing you to pick up Gru of Dark World from Primal Burst, Yamato or Defense Draw from Resonance of Contrast, Fire Fist Swallow from Galactic Origin, Forbidden Chalice from Servants of Kings, among many other cards. This will surely help out the free to play community and play players alike so we don't waste gems or money going through dead boxes. And the final proposal I would like to make would be for one day a month on box release day maybe or even when the KCGT comes around that the card trader would trade coins for gems. Even if they gave us one gem for every 1000 coins that would still work out to 1000 gems per 1 million coins, which is easy enough to do. This would then give free to play players more reason to play as there are more options to gain gems to get some of the newer cards and will also help paid players go through the dead boxes to pick up the one off cards that they need to complete their decks. If you're a new player or a free to play player and want to learn how to play Duel Links, I'll link a playlist on the screen to help get you started. Also, leave a like if you've got value from this video and leave me a comment if you'd like me to cover any other topics. Thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.